Hello, and I'm the Game Beaver, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World. Uh, I've been playing this a lot because we have the Pterosaur Tournament. And no, I'm not ill, although my back is aching. Like, it's. I know, right? <laughs> it's always something wrong with him, you're thinking. Bloody. What do you call it? Um, hypochondriac, that's it. Uh, but no, like, I can barely turn my neck right. Like, I get a pain in my shoulder blade. Ah! And it's been, like, getting worse and worse. And I think I, um,. When I had the HTC Vive out the other day, I had to pull away a table. And when I did that, I think I might have lifted something wrong, so I've just pulled a muscle. And I think, like, if I, you know, keep on trying to turn that way, the way it's hurting, maybe, you know, because I thought it might be something else. I, think I'm, I thought it might be, like, a bone that needs cracking. So I think as I've been doing that, I might have been making it worse. So we've got some things to do. We've got battles to do. We also have 90,000 VIP points. And we, I actually might use almost all of them in this episode. And I'll show you why as well. Uh, but let's just first have a look. Cash for a John Hammond statue. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, yeah, there is nothing. Fantastic. Um, I just put in a Tuki Toucan when I meant to put in a Skeletor. Because I think a level 30 would be really, really good. So, oh, and we have a Monsters of the Deep as well today. Thank God. Okay. Because um, I was like, I wanted to do the VIP. What lies beneath, and I'm glad it's a Monsters of the Deep, because I, I mean, I've used my best creatures in the tournament for the Darwin after us, and also um, the VIP event, and this What Lies Beneath is no easy feat either. Now, what you may think, what I've been thinking, is um, now, I in the tournament, these guys, the level 10 VIP creatures already when uh, after an hour and a half when you compare that to the similar stats of Spinoraptor, which takes four hours including Sukumimus, these vip creatures are really good for sort of grinding the tournament and that's what i'm going to open some packs today for to grind the tournament um because i think where am i i am in the predator league although i was 50th place uh four hours ago so, <laughs> it's not great. Um, and the bin men are coming round. Yay. So, I'm just going to collect some coin because you'll notice I'm on 56 million coin. And that is because every day, without fail, so far for the past like five days, I've always had a trade for 10 million coin for 5 million food. And I've been taking that trade every day. So, we've been really getting high with our uh, food, so if we have anything to max, and there's another million, if we have anything to max, and what's good is, I haven't hit, I've, like, for ages, I haven't hit the 99 cap for coin, 99 million coin, I haven't hit that yet, which is great, because, um, that kind of sucks when you're just there collecting coin, and you've got nothing to spend it on, like me, uh, whereas now we seem to get, um, dinosaurs for coin, we get DNA for coin, we get, uh, books for coin, we get anything, really, which is really good. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll jump in with this one first. Uh, it, it's a shame, actually, that there aren't more... Uh, ooh, hold on. Yeah, I can use you. I want to just use the level, like, these guys. I think they can do it. Um, I want to use more of the raptor boosters. And that's another thing. We'll do the raptors as well to see if we can win any legendary packs. On the, um, on the spin wheel. Oh, I done it once since, since the last episode. And unfortunately, I didn't win a single pack. And I was quite disappointed with it. Uh, whereas, the, you know, the time I recorded before this video, I won, like, two or three legendaries. And it was amazing. Or at least a super rare. Definitely two legendaries. Uh, well, definitely one. Maybe two. And I was hurting. <laughs> God, this back. Also, Pokemon Go has had an update, and there's loads... Like, there are Pokemon everywhere now. Where there used to be one or two, there are now, like, six. So, and I'm really into Gears of War 3 as well, so I've been playing Gears of War 3, trying to play Pokemon Go. I want to just dedicate a day for Pokemon Go, because I went from level 27 to 29 uh, really freaking quick. Um, I don't know if you guys still play, but, I, I, I mean, that's the thing, right? It became so popular, it leaked into the mainstream, and all the people who... Played it because, you know, they weren't, you know, it was just a thing. It was just a fad, I guess. 
uh, have stopped playing it now. So now it's only the people that really like playing it are playing it, and I'm one of those people. Uh, unfortunately, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> the fact that I have no... Like, I play Gears War 3, I play this, I play uh, Pokemon Go, I play Tiny Dino World, and anything else, uh, any other games that I, you know, I need to make time for. Um, now, did he use all of his goes? I think he might have. Okay, well, we're about to found, find out. I'm hoping, because I'm sure this thing can kill me in two. Yeah, so we don't have five. Yes, okay, now go for four. Oh! Beautiful, that's it, we've killed it. Because five hits is going to do 5,000 damage, plus the extra percent damage we get for doing it, which brings us to almost 10,000, so we get double the attack from just doing five goes, almost. Six goes, you must get double. How much, however six, however your attack, times by six, times by two, because that's some, like the percentage multiplier you get. So, Bux is good. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this. The ACU Code Red sort of booster. For one, we very rarely get to use them. And, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather have a building. Because now I can... Actually, you, you could trade that, to be honest. In the trade harbor, you get good stuff. So, maybe that is actually pretty good. Oh, I forgot to collect from these guys, too. Or did I? I might have already done that. Uh, so, we have two level 10 uh, Indominus Rexes from the trade harbor. Which I'm re really pleased about. Um, that's almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a Skeletor, because, oh, we've, we've also got a Spinal Raptor, dude, but we, oh, tell you what, we don't have a max one of that either. I think getting a dinosaur to level 30 is the best you can do in terms of resources you've got to trade for it, because for level 40, you've got to double. Uh, everything you've spent on it already, including food, including DNA, and possibly books to speed it up. And then, uh, depending on how long it takes in the DNA lab. I mean, if you're speeding things up, it's going to cost a hell of a lot of bucks. And also DNA, it might take longer. So, all incubators are full. Well, not for much longer. So, we're going to do this. We've also got a bit of a block, no block nose. I have a candle here, and it's like, um... Berries on ice or berries on snow. It's supposed to be like very Christmassy and it smells Christmassy. It is beautiful uh, So what are you two together? Wow Spiner up is so much better <laughs> But I think it costs more so we'll hatch you for 162. You know what that's fine uh, We're gonna open some VIP packs because um, the VIP creatures only cost a hundred to speed up which is really good uh, I'm gonna get another uh, one of you, and that'll make a level 30. So we have to feed these two, fuse them together to make a level 20, then feed them to make that level 20. So let's feed them. And, you know, it's not too expensive either. But at level 30, it should be on par with a level 40 legendary, or very close. Probably a lower level, maybe Sukumanus. I mean, it has 800 attack at level 40. Oh, beautiful! That's great! Awesome. I like how the start is gold and then when it lands, like when it twists to land, it's gold and then it goes purple. So there we go. That's two level um, level 20s. So let's feed you. Because a, le a level 40 legendary has, on average, about 400 attack. Uh, if it's got anything less, it must have really good health. So we're going to say goodbye to the Skeletor glitch, which is his... You can see the bottom of his beak is a little bit grey. And uh, as well with the top of the head, it's also grey. So let's say hello to level 30, which gets a cherry red nose. Right, so it was about 400 attack, 300 I think it was. Oh, well, we don't even know. Now it's 400. Um, oh, look at you. Beautiful. So there you go. It's over 500. It's better than T-Rex right now. Um, Health-wise, it's 200 less than a T-Rex. But attack-wise, it's about the same, I would say. Maybe, maybe even better. So it, it's like a legendary now. Um, right, uh, do, 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 do. I want to do? what do I want to do? do want, what lies beneath? I'm going to sift the deep. What lies beneath the monsters of the deep, of course. So we have the Pterodactylus, which I'm not going to spend. We're going to go with the, um, we're going to do some solid gold packs. Uh, Hainasaur, kind of not what I'm wanting right now. But we, I mean, everything we get is good. Apart from, if we get one off the Canthus, then there's a chance, although, albeit slim, but there's a chance that we may get a double. If we get another Orthocanthus after that, then we're getting multiples. And we don't need that. All I want is one level 40 and we're good. 
So we also get like 600 from doing it every time. Uh, oh, another. Ooh, now that is interesting. Now let's see her notice. I think that's quickly becoming our max creature. So we've, we're, we need four more and then we don't need any more. So let's have a look in the incubation. Let's go for four more. Oh, that's it. Okay, right. Well, there's a chance now that if we get another Honotus, it's wasted, technically. I don't know if you can sell Honotus. Can you? Sell. 20,000 DNA. That is so not worth it. <laughs> okay. So we don't want a Honotus. Uh, we also don't want that, do we? Because we have a level 40. Okay, so we get a Pterodactylus. A Hanodus. Those are the only ones we don't want now. Oh, that's it. That's it. We got a level, another level. Actually, you know what? We got another level 10 Hanodus and another level 10 uh, Pterodactylus. And we've seen the level 10s are actually good for grinding in the tournament. So it's not too bad. Plotosaurus. That may be a level 30. That's good. I think that is a level 30. Uh, we'll get to about 50,000 and we'll stop. Uh, a Mastodonosaurus. Great. That's another level 10. So we'll do two more packs. Uh, box, box, box. Metavasaurus! Yes, we finally got this thing. Oh, fantastic. So two more. We need the giant orthocone and the woo woo saurus. I was hoping that was woo woo. Oh, no! Well, that's a level 20. That's great. That's you. That's better than a level, um, a level 40 legendary. So let's hatch that Metavasaurus. It's got the weirdest face. I love it. It's like somebody just pinched it and pulled it. Oh, it's so cool. <gasps> I've got no room. Oh, okay. We'll put you there. Um, so there it is. Wow. Look at you. You're like a waffle face. Some weird alien. I tell you what, that is the perfect face for sort of Lying on, like, just below the surface of the water. Or just above it. I guess it kind of evolved. Yeah, it evolved to look above the surface of the water. I would imagine. I mean, I don't know. Well, let's feed you anyway. I want to know how good you are. Well, probably over a thousand health at level 10. That's great. Uh, yeah, that's... that's pro I mean, these, these VIPs, they don't have great health. But they have loads of attack. Or most of them. If you're not an Apatosaur, then. That is. Okay, we'll open one more. Uh, oh, and no! Well, one more and we got a level 30. Jesus, okay. Right. Um, let's hatch. Let's hatch all the VIPs we've got. Or at least the uh, the land ones. Because we, we can do that. It's easy. We can feed them. We'll feed them all and then uh, we'll take on the Darwin Optorus tournament. But I want to win those packs. I want to do the Monsters of the Deep too. So, uh, oh my god. Tiny Cola. We must have a level 40 of that. Or at least we're one off. Or something. Like, we have a level 20 right now. Another, we've got another level... Well, we've got four more. So that's a level 30. So we need two more Tiny Colas. And that's that done. Um, so let's hatch another one of you. I, oh, I want to see a level 30 Plotosaurus, too. That'd be awesome. That'd be swell. Uh... I don't want to, I don't think I want to hatch the, uh, tiny co You know what, we can hatch too. So, what this game has become is basically, uh, all my, all my best creatures are slowly being usurped by VIP creatures. I don't know whether that's a good, oh, look how tiny it is. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's, it's good for me because it means I've got, um, you know, even better creatures. And also the fact is... They, um, they take less time to come back. So that means that, you know, I can play the tournament quicker and more often. Um, I may even get... I may even hatch those other guys. The other tiny colas. Look at it! It's so cool! It's like a Yuturanus. I feel like Yuturanus was in this game. Which I think it is. It's a tournament that hasn't been released yet. I think it's been... Some people have fought in the tournament. I'm pretty sure I might have back in the day when uh, they didn't check to see if it was released yet. Before they put it in the opponent's uh, team. So, should we get you level 30? I think we should get you level 30. Look at all that health. It's all the fluff. It gives it extra um, health boost bonuses. 
Health bonuses. I don't, I don't know where boost came from. Ah, <laughs> oh, my leg's hurting from holding my head up. Ugh. It's because I'm sort of lent over. So my muscles must be having to hold me. Me large, big, freaky forehead. <laughs> uh, dun, dun. So that's a five star. Oh, look at you. You got nice color. You got blue on the top. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I don't know if I like it's level 40, but it's level 30. Looks really cool. So 3,000 health. 3,500. 3,000, um, 3, almost 4,000 with 900 attack. Oh, it looks so cool. I love it. I love you. Not really. Metaphorically, of course. Uh, don't be silly now. Uh, should I get another? Uh, you know what? I'm going to hatch these guys. For the 100 bucks it takes to speed up, it's not bad because I am going to use them. And I'd rather spend 100 bucks hatching them right now than uh, buying back, you know, something else maybe on the last day of the tournament. Uh, I'm pretty sure in maybe Platinum League or... Uh, I don't know what... I think it's Platinum League, isn't it? The last league of uh, the tournament. I would rather... I don't know if these are going to be u useful, but uh, up until then, they will be. It's kind of it, like... <laughs> I feel like this game's evolved past doing the tournaments. It's nice. I'm kind of glad that they're not as often as they were. And it seems like they were the way they were because, um, oh, one's just started. They had nothing else to fill in the time. And they didn't want to just shove out car packs to you. So they just shoved out tournaments to you. Uh, what I did forget, actually, is the uh, amphibians. Ooh. Yeah, we got two more plot. Whoa, the Plotosaurus hatches instantly. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, I forgot about that because they haven't fixed the glitch. So we got 41,100 uh, bucks. Let's see if it just uh, happens again. Yeah, look at that. It's hatching time is zero right now. That's so good. I'm glad I remembered or else that could have been 200 bucks wasted. So let's get this to level 30. At level 10, there's a weird glitch with it. Probably why it hatches instantly. And also, it doesn't have its shading. It, it's like normal color. Whereas everything underwater is tinged a tiny bit of blue. I don't know whether that's just a post-processing effect. Like, they just put a screen over the camera. It probably could be. But then if that's the case, then why isn't this guy uh, blue? So, maybe that's not it. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. And hopefully, it's first time as well. Getting it to level 30 and the rest of it. So, uh, Plotosaurus, I can't wait to see you level 30. I can't wait to see you level 40, to be honest. But uh, I'm not going to open some more packs just to get you. You know what? That might be a glitch. <laughs> Why it's done it first time every time. Oh, you look, you're an ichthyosaur now from Walking With Dinosaurs. Oh, that is awesome. I love it. Let's feed you. I just want to see the eating animation. Bam. No, oh, that's so cool. I love it. Yum, yum, yum. So you're going to have 800 attack. Almost, well, 850 and 4,000. So you're basically like Tani Cola, except with more health and less attack. 800. Jeebus. Um, so Hanodis right now is going to be my strongest creature. Um, let's have a look at what I've got because... If uh, Tylosaur can be evolved to level 20, that's going to make it great. It already is level 20. Okay, let's look at Hainosaur. Look at all these. These are all going to be hybrids. All of them. Two more will be normal creatures. Maybe tournament. Um, those other three, I'm sure, will be hybrids. Uh, Hainosaur. He might be near the start. Huh? Yeah, you are. Yeah, we got another Hainosaur. So we could make that a level um, 20. Worry, but it... Ooh, and we got one left over as well. So there's no point in really hatching it because, I, you know, there's no aquatic tournament, so I can't do it. Ah! God, you've got a big gob. God, all the creatures with the, um... The Bloomin' uh, Prognathodon animation. It's kind of sucky because it was really nice that they had a unique animation and now that it's just been... I mean, we all knew that was good. Every creature that came out in the aquatic release of this game had its own unique animation. And we loved it. But deep down in our hearts, we knew they were just going to copy and paste it onto everything else. And um, lo and behold, they did. Which, uh, it's just like, uh, 
You fell at the hurdle. You didn't even try to jump the hurdle. You just threw... You just ran straight into the hurdle. So here's a level 20. Big gob attack. Tiny tongue, though. Tiny tongue. So, five... Oh, wow, this thing's probably more attack. The fact that it has, you know, 620 attack now. Um, oh, maybe, I don't know. At level 20. It's, it's probably going to be the same. In fact, you know what? I'm going to move that away from my cable. <laughs> I just realized the candle was right next to one of my um, HDMI cables. And it could have burned it and probably fried something. I don't, well, I mean, burning it is probably frying. So, uh, wow, okay. So we could have two level 30 her notices. And right now, that could be good. So let's take this on. Um, Hainasaur, you take on Orthocone. Then we need a good... We, we need... Um, probably, He's probably going to switch out. He's probably going to switch out to Chronosaur. Dunkelostius will take that out. Um, and then after Chronosaur, it's Archelon. So... We're going to have to have something that takes on... Hainasaur's here to, here to force out a giant Orthocone. Chronosaur will come in because it's got the most attack. I think. Dunkelostius kills... Well, Chronosaur kills my Hainasaur. Let, I mean, I think I've got this right. Let's have a look. So... I'm going to root one reserve. For the fact that Orthocone can't kill me in two hits and Chronosaur can't kill me in one hit. Oh! Oh, Archelon of bollocks. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to go... Since it did attack, though, which is great, we can go for two block and one reserve. So we're getting an extra go. Oh, okay. Right, now we're going to have four. So I'm going to go for a full-on four reserve. Because Dunkelostius is going to need all the turns it can muster to take on Archelon. He has to go for two. Hopefully he goes for three to kill us. And he does! Right, we've won this. I'm just going to say we've won. We have to have won this. There's no way we can lose it now. Uh, one, two, three. Kills it! Awesome. So we can go for the full-on full reserve and one block. Which means that, you know, they can't go for two to kill us. They have to go for three. And because they've only got probably four turns, that would only leave them with one. Oh, and he went for full-on four as well. Awesome. Okay, so Orthocanthus can kill this thing. Nerf Chronosaur and can probably be killed in one hit. One, two, and one, two. That's it. Done. I could have went for three block and one reserve and we'd probably still win. Because he's going to be nerfed to about 450 uh, or 400 even. And th that's it. Game. Doesn't matter what it does. <laughs> Bless it. It did attack, though. Almost a thousand damage. Oh, well, I'm just going to go for one and five block. <laughs> Bam. Awesome. So, now that was already there before I leveled up my creatures. So what are we against now? Oh, even easier opponents. Awesome. Uh, so we need a good... Well, a good cave. That'll bring in probably Hainasaur. So we need a good reef. And then... No, actually. Cr uh, Mosasaur is just as good. And why not Megalodon? Let's go! We'll go for the one reserve because we can't be killed in two hits from Alkalon and one hit from Hainasaur. Although he's pretty close. Well, halfway. Halfway. And he does go for it, which is great because we can do the same tactic as before. One reserve, two block, and then four reserve. I put in the two block to make sure that I survive. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's exactly the same as last time. I'm pretty sure he didn't go for two. He went for one and one block. So we're going to go for four reserve. Ugh. Go for three. Yeah, it's exactly the same as last time. Right, okay. So we can go for two to kill it. Oh, probably three, actually. One, two. Ah, yep. And then I'm going to go for three reserves. Two block, because I don't think Archelon can kill me in two. 
Oh, he can. Okay. I thought he'd have like 600 attack, but uh, I guess that was a level 20 Archelon. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it! Well, at least it went for a full out attack. Okay. So, even though we're going to nerf Dunkelostis' attack, it can kill us pretty darn easy. Uh, so, I'm going to have to go for two. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for two. Wow. Okay. I think we may be able to kill Dunkelostis in two heads. So if he does go for a full-on four. Oh, maybe we could have survived three hits. But you know what? Not worth it. Oh, come on! One, two, three. We have to, don't go for more than two block or else I'm cheating. Awesome. <laughs> I would have won anyway. Unless he went for two. No, I would have won, yeah. Awesome. Nam. That's another 50 DNA. I d you know, I bought two Skeletors and we're still pretty good. Uh, and the last one, definitely Honotus, definitely Plotosaur, and definitely Tylosaur. Let's go! Ooh. Tournament creatures are not as good as VIP creatures. <laughs> VIP creatures. See, I was trying to do the nightmare creatures like nightmare creatures. So did he go for full on two? I think he went for one, didn't he? He went for one. Um, I'm gonna do that. I could have switched out, but I don't think two hits can do 4,000 damage from any of my creatures. Nightmare. What I am gonna do is switch in Plotosaurus and go for reserves, hoping that he will switch in something like Adustus. Right, okay, he did. He has to go for three to kill me. He had four. Great, okay. Uh, I'm still in a bit of a tough situation. They will switch out once I kill this thing anyway. So hopefully two can kill it. Yeah, two can kill it. Awesome. Yes. Oh, I noticed. I can't wait to get you. Pancake. The ultimate pancake. Level 40 will be awesome. Three, okay. Okay. Oh, only one. Okay. Well, you got two, uh, technically two block. I'm bringing Tylosaur. Who has a lot of attack. And there you go. Even if you did go for two block, which you didn't, you would have died. Now, Mosasaur's going to go for two. Uh, well, probably three out of his six. So leaving him with three block. We can kill it in two hits. We've won. Yep. Oh, Okay. Went for four. Oh! I, uh, no, he couldn't kill me in two. He had to go for three, so he's only got one or well, two block. One, two, kills him. Factor in the two block. And one block for hell knows. Bam! Right, Monster of the Deep done! Now we're on to the uh, Dakosaurus, which I'm probably going to be facing a crud ton of legendary hybrids as well as VIPs. Oh, I got all my books back from buying back the creatures. That's good. 300 VIP points. And on to the uh, what lies beneath, which is crazy, crazy. Um, you know what? I'm going to put in one of my level 10s. Oh, that's right. I haven't fed them. Well, that's okay. We'll remember to feed them. So that's probably uh, going to die in one hit. So I'm going to have to put in Pterodostro. Then Kool-Aid and then Pterodactylus. And hopefully this should win. I'm going to go for the one block because he could kill me in two hits. So if they somehow, for some reason, yep, yeah, didn't decide to switch, then I'd be dead if I didn't block. So now I'm going to go for two reserve because he might not have blocked. He did. So if I did block, I'd be in the best situation right now. He could kill me in one. Uh, does go for two. That's great because we can kill him in three. And then it's all up to Pterodactylus. So we got one reserve, three attack. Oh, even more, my bad. One, two, three, you're dead, two reserve. Right, we've definitely won this. Ostoposaurus can't kill us in one hit. So he shouldn't attack. Cross my fingers. I didn't cross him early enough, damn it. <laughs> He's got one block. But in comes the 3,000 attack. Although we can die in three hits, though. So we've got to play this cautiously. 
Um, hmm. There's a chance that he could have reserved. And if they do reserve, then we're dead. We have to go for three block. They did reserve! Buggers! Well, we've won. Well, uh, technically, we, we could still win. But if I'd went for two block, one reserve, he would have went for full on five. 100% he would have. And he would have! We would have lost! Because one more hit would have killed us. Wow. I played that perfectly. It, it takes years to become a veteran in the Jurassic World universe. But I've achieved it. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, that's uh, another 50 DNA. On to the next one. Which is the same again, except for with two unicorn wizards, which isn't too bad. Um, so we'll put in... Oh, there's Skeletor. Where's Sarko? Oh, I used it before, didn't I? Ah. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll evolve Metabasaurus. I think I placed it there. Yeah. We'll evolve one to level 20 and we'll use it here. Yum, yum. They're all, the amphibians are always so tiny. Oh, first time, Michael! Sorry if your name's Michael. Breaking the, breaking the fourth wall there. How you doing, Michael? You Okay. Whatever your mother told you, don't have to worry about it, you know. <laughs> I feel like one of those um, people that speak to the dead. I can't remember. What like, uh, oh, like telepath. I don't know. What, it's not like that. It's where people go to shows and like, I'm sensing uh, a death over here. Well, that's why they're all there. <laughs> um, okay. So let's bring in Magic Mike. Mmm. Where, what, where the hell is it? Is it that good? It's that high up? Holy crap! Yeah, there it is! Wow, okay. Uh, and that's gonna bring in Suchopterus, and then we bring in our own Ostapasaurus. So we're gonna go for one block. Because we can die in two hits, but can't die in... Well, yeah, we're, we're safe. And they do switch in. Oh, we can die in one hit from this thing! Good god! Okay, now he did attack, so we can go for two block. It wants my blood. <laughs> oh, okay, reserve for the three. Oh, look at that face. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Go for four, you have to. Yes, because one hit could kill me. You were tricked, duped. Dupeses. Bleh. The amphibians have a... New, well, Asaka Sukas amphibian animation sets have a new bit to their attack where they, um... They sort of... They do the death roll. Go away and then go blah. You'll see what I mean if we ever get to use one, but uh, I don't think so. You can do it in your own time. Oh, full on four! Wow. Okay. Well, we've won. Cause we can kill it in two hits, I think. Oh no, it's gonna have to be three. Okay. One, two, three kills it. One, two, three, and one, two. Right. Um. I should have went for two block three reserve, because then we would have won no matter what. Even if they did hit me with two uh, attacks. Uh, well, we've won now anyway. That's okay. If we went for one attack, then we would have won. He went for two, which means we've definitely won. I didn't even block either. God. Nom. 25,000. Awesome. So again, the reason why I haven't maxed up Ostoposaurus, even though I technically have the DNA, and I mean just have the DNA to make it level 40. The same with Pritrodon. In fact, actually, is Pritrodon a level 30? No, it's level 20. Eva, <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, I think I've just got enough to get max Pritrodon, but I don't want, I mean, I'm waiting for the aquatic hybrids. Um, and here we are again! God damn it! Now look at these two. Pterodactylus is better but is 80 bucks cheaper? Well, 79 bucks if you want to be mathematical. Um, so we need a good flyer. Thank God we've got... Skeletormia! And then... Sod it! Go for those guys! Force out... Ostopasaurus. And then, let's take them on with our best carnivores. Let's do it! Okay. Okay. Now, I've got a plan here. Skeletor is going to be used. It looked like it was a meat shield, but it's not. It's coming back. Oh! Well, his possibility got a four. 
Um, so, uh, switch in, right, just stay again. Now, this is the, this is the, the trick. I'm gonna force him to switch in Ostoposaurus and kill me with maybe two. May hopefully three. Oh, and he goes for one. Okay, okay. Now, you get loads of goes, so Skeletor can come in and kick some fishy butt. Oh, God, he's got six. He has to go for three to kill me minimum. Okay, he's got one block. But that's that may make or break. We may have to go for one extra. We'll find out. We've got eight. Best scenario to be in. Okay, three reserves. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No, I can't afford it. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to. Because he is going to have five. And he's probably going to kill Skeletor. So we're going to go in again. We now know he did not block, so we only have to go for four. And four reserves. That's good. Because we could lose this very easily. Right, he's got five. Hopefully the one will be switched in. Yep, there's the switch in. And hopefully he'll go for four and not one. Okay, he's got one block. Which means we have to go for four. Um... Again, if they don't, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> right, one block. So we have to go for like three to kill it. Factor in that one. One, two, three, and one reserve because we can't take two hits. He did cheat. We would have lost because Ostoposaurus would have come in with five. And 100%, he would have attacked for five. Just you watch. So we're going to go for three. One, two, three, kills it. One, two, three, four, because I'm pretty sure two hits from Monster Source can kill Indominus. Bam! Right. Oh, yes, definitely. I would have to have like 7,000 health to survive. And even then, I'd probably die. And there it is, see? Told you! Bloody hacks! But we can kill it in four. So, one, two, three, four, you're dead. Factor in nothing, because you don't have anything, but you're dead. All this for a Stachosaur pack. Oh, it's only a super rare, and I'm probably not even going to get super rare prizes. I'm going to get, like, mystery pack prizes. 500, 500, 52,000 But we do get the uh, the good VIP points. Which almost takes us to 50,000. And we have this one. Again, another one for the infinite battle. Eh. So, what are we going to do, guys? Um... I don't really have anything else. This has been waiting here for ages for me to do something with it, this battle. But I don't have anything. It's only 87 books for the Metaposaurus, but I don't, I, like, I feel like I should be able to do something here with these guys. Tiny Cola, Ankylodocus, Soprano Titan. I think that could do it. Now hear me out. The reason why Ankylodocus is in here with two carnivores is the fact that its job is to kill Ostoposaurus. That's its one and only job. So I'm going to go for two reserve here. Oh god, he's got three. Uh, he can't kill me in one though. Oh, come on! Yeah, we've lost. We've lost. Probably. There's no way Soprano Titan could take on Rajastega and freaking Indominus Rex. Oh, and the fact three didn't kill him either. And he did go for the block. You know what? I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to give up. There's no point. I can't win that. Uh, so, um, that pisses me off a lot. Oh, my God. Um, screw you, man. I'm gonna just going to spend that. Uh, so, that'll bring in Ostoposaurus. We need a good flyer. And we've probably got one here. That's good. We'll use you. And, wow, we spent like 300 bucks. <laughs> Well, there goes all the uh, saved up books, but I'm sorry, I'm not beaten. I hate when the game cheats like that. It sucks. So, you know what? I'm going to cheat. So, you went for one block. Okay. So, you're going to have three. You can't kill me in one. You can kill me in two. So, I'm going to go for two block, one reserve. You see, two can play this game. Um, Two block, because you're going to have three. Yep. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, thank God I did that. 
Right, let's see what he does. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cheat all the way through. I don't care. So he went for a full out block, which means he's gonna have three in the next go. So we can go for two block and whatever's left into reserve. So probably one. So two block, one reserve. Hopefully he attacks for full on three. Oh it does! I mean, I would have liked to have died, to be honest. <laughs> Because uh, then the um, the pterosaur could have went in. You're cheating! He deliberately went for one block or one reserve. And kill you in three. One, two, three. You're dead. Four reserve, one block. Because I don't think you've blocked. You did! Why? Why is it when I factor in the block, they don't go for it? And when I don't factor in the block, they do go for it. It's... You've got to admit, all of these battles, you've sat through 40 minutes of this. All of these battles, every time I factored in the block, they don't block. Every time I haven't, they do. It's stupid! Ah! Right, so Rajasteger can kill me in one hit, but I've got four reserves, so it's not an easy kill for him. He shouldn't attack. Oh! God damn it. Right, now we're going... This is dangerous territory. I think we can win, but there's a slim chance of it. We have to cheat. That's the only way. We have to find out whether he went for the block or if he didn't. So we have to go for full on attack. So He did go for the block. Awesome. So we may have won. <gasps> Indominus can kill me in two hits. So I have to go for three block. Oh, uh, no. This is a good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, okay. We've survived. We've survived. Okay. Because I know Indominus Rex has 900 attack. Oh, God, he has 1,000. It's one level away from Max. So it must have like 1,050. Oh, yes, we've won. Thank God. You see, now if I hadn't have cheated, 100%, we would have lost that. And I would have wasted 300 bucks buying these creatures back. It's over 9,000. Ah! Awesome. Oh, he's got speckles under his neck. A big flabby neck. A hundred. The common pack which gives us a hundred bucks back. So I think in total from this episode, we are in the plus for bucks. And then we got the Darwin Opterus Tunnel, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to keep grinding that in my spare time. Uh, good luck to you guys who are doing it. I think, um, well, I'm, you know, best luck to you because it's uh, kind of a hard one. I, uh, I think I've spent 10 million food in this entire episode. Uh, nothing new for the trade harbors, which kind of sucks, but uh, that's to be expected. You can't... Probably if I logged in and logged out again, there might be something. So I'm not going to be on here for... Actually, no, I will be because, I you know, I could make this over an hour long episode just doing this tournament because I've got all... Actually, no. No, I, I have... Nothing. <laughs> I really don't. I'm going to have to come back here in about... Where's the level 40 legendaries? Where are they? They're somewhere here, right? Yeah, here they are. I have to come back in three hours to do this tournament. And I'll probably be back to number one in Hunter League. But at least this time, I have like some more level 10s to help out. I could even make this a level 20. So it could really help out. Um, you know, I'll probably... The thing is, when... The, if these two level 10s are used, and I'm having to, like, wait for them to cool down, if I fuse them together, it doesn't count. Like, it's already refreshed. So I could do that if times do get tough. I do have another level 10 Metabasaurus. So I could make that another level 20. The only reason why I'm not spending all the VIP points and opening packs is because I'm sure at Christmas, they're going to release something that's VIP only or... I don't know, something that may be buyable with VIP points. Like a, a Santa Claus costume for your T-Rex. I don't know. That may boost its attack. Who knows? Jolly good feelings. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,